All right, guys, we're going to be looking at an issue on this 1.4 liter turbocharged Ecotec engine today sitting in a 2012 Chevrolet Cruze. It's got a ticking noise. It's coming from this purge canister assembly here. just want to show you before I replicate the problem, get some lighting back here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be coming back behind this guy if we zoom in. And he's got a little clip that you can pinch to disconnect him. And so I'm going to show you the sound, disconnect it, show you how that corrects the sound, and then plug it back in, show you that that's what the problem is, and we'll come back and talk about what it is and how to repair it. All right, guys, you hear that ticking sound? That's coming from this solenoid right here. You can put your finger on it, and you can actually feel it. So I'm going to reach back behind here, and I give this little clip a pinch so that we can disconnect it. And I'm going to let you hear that it stops making that noise. You see the noise stops. If I reconnect the power, it comes back. So that part's bad. And the way we're going to replace that is we're going to use a replacement AC Delco part. This guy right here. We zoom in. Oh, there's a lot of glare out here today. But 555-73017 is the replacement part. What it is is this assembly here. If we open this guy up, see this is the part that we were just unplugging. So the only thing we have to do to replace this is we're going to disconnect it from the engine right here on this end. We're going to replug in this power connector, and then we're going to disconnect this vacuum hose at that point. But the engine is really hot right now, so we're going to shut it off. We're going to let it cool down, and then we're going to make the repair. All right, guys, this engine's cooled off enough where I think we can do this repair, so let's get started. To get this line off here, we're going to move this clip down to loosen it. Yeah. Let me see if I can get this piece off here first. And we can get our hand in here. To get this end off, you give it a pinch where you see it's got serrated edges. And with that off, it slides off this bracket here, right there. I'm thinking with that out of the way, we might have a better shot releasing this one. It's not letting go. Which makes me think we don't have it off all the way. So, yep, there it is. All right, that was what it was. So this guy's got to come all the way down to the midpoint before it's going to let go. So replacing this is super simple, like you saw. We're just going to slide our new one into position on this little bracket. And then we're going to take this piece and push it in until it snaps. We're going to take this piece here. There's a little ridge here that has to click into position. And then you push this guy back to lock it. And then we push the power connector back in until it locks into position. So that's all there is to it, replacing this guy. Now when it starts clicking like this, it's still functioning somewhat. It hasn't failed all the way. When it fails all the way, you'll usually get a code because of uh, the computer detecting the problem here. But catching it early is fine before it fails on you when you don't expect it and you don't want to have that to deal with it. You know, this way you're dealing with it on your terms rather than waiting for it to fail and have to deal with it when it pops up on you. At this point, we're done. We got this repaired. We're going to go ahead and uh, fire this up and show that it's not clicking anymore. Um, but we'd have to get it all heated up. And I'm not going to, you know, have time to do that on this. This particular kind of problem only happens when the engine gets heated up at an at a operating temperature where you got the thermostat opened up and the coolant flowing. 
at that kind of a temperature is when this particular part of the circuitry gets energized. So at this point we're done. I'm confident this is going to fix it. If you got any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I'll try to help you out. If you found this video useful or save you some money, go ahead and hit that like button. Appreciate the discovery on YouTube by doing that. And as always, thanks for watching.